They can rip their little trotters off because they're just trying to escape. They're really vicious that, in there. So that actually happens? Yeah, they've got one here at Tulip Meets uh, in Ashton, on Ashton on Kent, is it called? How you going, man? Watch this one. This is in Manchester, bro. Oh, you want to see the gas chambers and that, eh? Uh, Big farm, bro. Oh, what's the other one? No, watch this one, bro. Uh, this is called a gas chamber. They. <laughs> did he not just. Did he just walk straight on? Yeah. Do you think there's. Hello, you come and sit down. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. That's good. What's your name? Immy. Hello, Immy. Hello. So uh, I'm saying there's no argument oh, against... Oh wow, you've got a vegan tattoo as yeah. well. Yeah. I'm not vegan. I'm so vegan. I'm not vegan. I'm, I'm everything vegan. So yeah, I'm saying there's no argument against being vegan for you right now in, in, in UK. So Do you have any arguments against being vegan? Yes. What is yours? Come on. Meets Pang. Meets Pang? Isn't it Pang? Huh? Isn't it Peng? P E N G? Yeah, 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 yeah. P E N G. I would argue that um, because I like the taste of you it. like the taste. Yeah, I would. I'll just ask you a question. Do you think like because you get pleasure out of something, does that morally justify like an act of cruelty, like cutting an animal's head off? <laughs> um, like I could get pleasure from doing a lot of horrific things. That's true. That's true. But um, what I'm sort of animals do you eat first? Do you eat pigs? Yes. Have you seen how pigs are executed here in Manchester? No, I haven't. I try and scroll past it. Oh, you do? So you don't... You know when you buy a bacon, you pay for this to happen. This is called a gas chamber. So they're getting lowered down into CO2 gas. This is the most frequent way pigs are killed here in England. And they're suffocating and trying to escape and they're screaming really loud. I've got the sound off there. Um, so these are six month old pigs. Six months old? Yeah. They're trying to escape here, but they can't. They're just getting lowered down into a dungeon filled with gas. And it burns their eyes and nose and all the moisture in their mouth and lungs. Oh. And they can rip their little trotters off because they're just trying to escape. They're really vicious that, in there. So that actually happens? Yeah, they've got one here at Tulip Meets uh, in Ashton. On Ashton on Kent, is it called? Yeah, it's called. Right. And then they come out this way and get stabbed in the throat. Um, these are calves being killed in the dairy industry because male calves don't produce milk. So they'll either be shot on the farm or they'll be killed for veal. Um, so that they impregnate a, a female cow here. In, like, so what they do is... They manually. Have, so this is what happens in the dairy industry. So they, oh they stick this in the bum of the, the bull to force him to ejaculate. And they take his semen from him. So they hold him down in this rack here. This is called an electro-ejaculator. And then when they, they take that semen, they inject it into a female uh, once she's ready to be impregnated. Probably about 18 months old, I think. They stick their oh hand God. in her anus to hold the cervix and then they put a uh, pipette full of bull semen in there. When she, get her, when she gives birth, right, they'll take her calf because they don't want the calf drinking the milk because humans want to steal that milk. So they take her calves from her and they're very and maternal what do they animals. they them with? They give them a re milk replacer. So she's upset here obviously cows are very maternal animals yeah. um, then they separate so these are the you know the the calves the, the boys in England around 95,000 male calves are shot on uh, the farm soon after birth in the dairy industry each year here in the UK so this is just uh, these are male calves being killed um, so then they take her milk then they take her life when she stops producing milk after about four or five years. Are you used to watching this? Yeah, I've seen a lot of it. Because I constantly uh, talk about it. Um, you know, birds in factory farms here in the UK. Horrible, horrible practices. 
egg laying hens being gas chambered when they can't produce eggs. Um, there's something that happens in the egg industry that you should know about as well that's really messed up. They'll separate them into male and female and the males won't grow up to be hens, they won't produce eggs so they turn into roosters so that the egg industry don't really use them. They take a few aside to be breeding roosters yeah, yeah. but the rest of them this is what they do to them. And this happens in free range, organic, come and have a look. They drop them in this blender while they're fully conscious. Yeah, and they turn them into pet food. So yeah, and they're searing their beaks off of the females now. And the females will basically just get enslaved. They'll lay eggs. You know, this is a free range barn here. This is a free range barn. It's a free range barn for eggs. That's free range? Yeah. But These are free range barns. There's a dead chicken in a free range barn. Then they send them off to be slaughtered, they put them on trucks, execute them. The main way to kill egg layers in the UK is in a gas chamber as well, so... But, um, yeah, you got sheep and fish. Yeah. So anyways, um... I guess uh, I'm just... That's upsetting, sad. isn't it? I'm really... I'm sorry if you're upset. I, I was upset a lot too for many years. Um, that's why I speak to people like yourself who, mm. like, just navigate everything they eat just with taste but I try to like think of like the animals when yeah, I'm eating with your brain rather than your, your heart mouth. as well yeah I mean your brain can trick you too I think it's yeah. more your heart conscience compassion yeah, yeah. I guess so. when I see like chicken I think of a bird I think of a bird how did they live how did they die mm. you know and I don't want to eat their body their suffering you know I don't want to put I don't want to put their suffering in my body and I don't want to pay someone to be cruel to an animal because if I yeah. saw someone be cruel to an animal I would stop them I'd yeah, probably yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be close to punching them in the face probably I mean you probably helped me too someone be, be cruel to a dog it's like everyone killed this person you know oh my god it's horrible but everyone goes out and they three times a day they're paying for animals to be tortured and killed yeah, yeah. how do you feel about that? <laughs> guilty? yeah I feel really guilty I don't know I do feel like a bad person I don't think you're a bad person. I think like you should separate your actions from yourself. Yeah. Like so you can do something that has bad consequences, but you can also do something tomorrow that has good consequences. So you can you're not inherently mm. a bad person if you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I've always been like tried to make myself um, a bit ignorant about it because ignorance You don't want to face how you feel about it. Yeah. Cuz I do love animals. But let's just say you put a blindfold on right now and I pushed and I pushed a button that was killing animals. Right, cutting their head off every time I push the button on a blindfold and I didn't know about that button every time I push that button animals are still getting killed so whether you're ignorant to it or not you're still pushing the button on these animals so now that you're not ignorant you know what happens to these animals know what happens yeah. when you push this button now you can start thinking about okay what am I going to do in my day to day life mm -hmm. and that, who here's a vegan you are a vegan are you I'm a vegan, oh okay so basically what I ask people to do because like you can't change the whole world but you can only yeah. change what you do you know what I mean and that's why like I've got like these little these little things here and I know it's just another pamphlet but this one's really good trust me uh, there's a vegan challenge here that's free on Facebook and they give you free like coaching and they coach you through like 22 days yeah and then it like gives you a good leg in but like these are all the places where you can make decisions that don't impact animals so you can get a vegan option from Greg's or Pizza Hut or Subway or um and this app here can help you find a vegan restaurants and these are good stuff to replace eggs and dairy mm -hmm. and honey and yeah i mean i don't drink milk you don't but you, you I drink, drink oat, oat milk. milk oh that's good that's really good actually <laughs> should play oh you're a vegan oh, okay <laughs> can, can, come over here come over here you can talk to us as well so, so no that's okay I'm vegan. oh that's good vegan for the animals are you vegan for the animals? Are you vegan? vegan for the animals. Of course. Yeah, of course, there's no other reason, is there? I've been vegetarian for like seven years. Okay. And then I switched to vegan like two years ago. Why'd you go vegan? Huh? Because uh, you found out about the dairy industry and all that? I just researched it and like I just knew about what happened to yeah. animals. Yeah. But that's why I got turned vegan. Yeah. Was it hard? Got it. These girls want to know if it's hard. Was it hard? Man? Was it hard to go vegan? like 
cheese and like eggs. Yeah. But like, yeah, cheese, cheese would be hard for me. Yeah. I love cheese. I'd eat cheese every day nearly. Yeah. Vegan cheese. But see, I, I, I tried I vegan I don't cheese and it's, it's not the one. Which one did you try? Yeah. It didn't. Love, it was bad like, ones as well. It's just like plastic. Melt. Yeah, it doesn't melt. It's just like plastic. Like there's a few in Tesco. I love the free from range in Tesco. Yeah, I've heard about that. Either. That's really what? tasty. And then there's one called Applewood, and it melts really oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Applewood. I prefer the mozzarella that cheese. Is, you know, okay. from Asda. Okay. That's my favorite vegan Asda cheese. Asda have a vegan aisle now, so. Oh yeah, I saw that on Facebook yeah. actually. But anyway, every time you eat the non-vegan cheese, you're sort of doing this to these cows. You're paying, you're supporting an industry that harms these animals. And if you care about that, then like doing a little bit of shopping for your favourite cheese, I mean, it's, it's really not that hard, difficult. It's more difficult being the animal on the other end of that decision, you know. So that's how I look at it. Like, you know, I was a little bit, it was a bit harder at the start, but then when I got built a new habit, it was a lot easier. And then, now it's just second nature, you know. Mm, but you just can take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... You seem I'm really affected. Gonna, and yeah, the video was very intense. Because yeah. I always like, I have like people on Instagram and stuff like sharing stuff on their yeah. stories, but I'm just like. These are standard practices too. Like you can, I'm pretty well versed on the standard practices here in the UK. And yeah. So a lot of your friends are vegan. Yeah, loads. Wow. But you guys are against animal cruelty. Yeah. But you're not vegan. No. Do you think that makes someone a hypocrite? Yeah. yeah. I watched the film. Oh, yeah, I know, I know I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I used to be for years. I couldn't handle it anymore. I was like, no, yeah, I can't so be a hypocrite it's anymore. It's very valid. Yeah. Everything's valid. It's just... So will, you make, will you make the decisions that impact these animals when you, when you leave? Will you make a decision to avoid their suffering or will you make a decision to keep yeah. continuous... Well, we live together, so we can make I think a we more can conscious effort. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, I think like doing it all together yeah. is a good... Yeah, and I, think, yeah. I think we could do it, to be honest. Yeah. I definitely yeah. eat a lot less than I yeah. used to because of the influence of my friends. Yeah. We did we did yeah. have a, um, a roast the other day, though, didn't we? Gammon. Would you eat a roast dog? Vegan, yeah. No. Yeah. Like, what if, I paid, what if I paid someone right here to just kill a dog and to turn him into a roast? Would you say that I was an animal abuser? Yeah. You would, eh? Yeah. You'd just call me an animal abuser, wouldn't you? You'd say, you pay for that dog to be abused and killed just so you could eat them when you could have, and there's a vegan burger right there I can just choose a vegan option the best vegan burger you've ever eaten I, I love Beyond Burgers Beyond Burgers from Tesco yeah 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 they're really good really nice or, um, Honest Burgers I think, uh, Honest, Honest Burgers, burgers. Got good ones. vegan meat yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I'm just genuinely just so used to eating meat that's why yeah. I'm just Be used to it though. so was I yeah. Yeah, it was nice talking to you guys yeah nice talking to you definitely gonna I promise we will yeah. We will like make an effort, like yeah. for real. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys listening. But I can't lie. Do you enjoy meat? I used to as well, but now I just eat vegan meat. Like I've found I don't some. I enjoy these animals. So. so, what do you think is more important, like your taste or an animal's uh, life? Animals' life, definitely. Because there's people out there that enjoy sex, but that doesn't mean that they can go out and just rape whoever they want. Because they think you got to think of the victim. Yeah. So when you like, I, I might really love the taste of a steak, you know, but I I think that the animals' rights matter more than me having that pleasure. No, I agree. Definitely. Like, oh, I can't. Like, I, I can't really argue against. <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I make it so that you can't argue against yeah, it. Don't yeah, you worry. Yeah. yeah I, I make a really solid, uh, really solid argument for animal rights. Mm -hmm. Take care, guys. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Nice. You can take this if you want a guide. Yeah, well, it's got all the info. We'll put it on our fridge. Okay. See you later. Okay, so it looks like there's no argument against being vegan. Um, I think I'll bring this table out again, actually. I quite enjoyed those conversations. Yeah, still not convinced, mate. Still haven't seen a very good argument against the individual sitting next to me uh, not being vegan. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll find a caveman soon who's in a survival situation that really has no choice, but... Right here in the UK, got no excuses. All right.